Hey, this will be a video chart on GOIG, GOIP Global Incorporated. Did it yesterday. Uh, but today we got some green, so I had some more requests come in. Plus, I wanted to do a weekly chart to kind of point out that one. Uh, so we'll spend a little bit of time on the daily chart, then we'll uh, go to the weekly chart and I'll point out some things. Uh, nothing groundbreaking, but um, it'll be something to hold us over uh, for over the weekend. So that's going to be seen today. Put in a nice green candle there. Uh, did drop below this blue line for a little bit, but if you watched yesterday's video, you knew that uh, the key moving average we were looking at was this gold line, which was the 20-day cent moving average, and didn't even didn't even test it. Uh, so what happened was we opened down here, so we gapped down, but then the rest of the day the bulls pushed up, uh, so it was a good day. I'll take a look at it on the five-minute chart. Um, like I said, here is where the price opened, and then the morning surge for the first about half an hour was just straight up. And then it would basically consolidate the rest of the day, but you can see put in uh, higher lows uh, throughout the remainder of the day. So um, on the daily chart perspective, a nice looking chart, and hopefully uh, we'll start to see things settle down. Um, the other good thing was volume has finally started to drop off. So with the green day, we're sh it showed that selling has started to uh, lighten up. If anything, uh, there was plenty of buyers here to support any selling that was going on. And like I said in yesterday's video, uh, you know this upcoming week, whether it goes sideways or you know drifts down just a little bit more, uh, volume will be key. We'll want to see that uh, drop off anything else. But overall, a good looking day, and uh, nice to see that the bulls have uh, stepped back in and begun to absorb any sort of selling. Now let's check out the weekly chart. Since it is Friday, we'll take a look here, and it's it's pretty unique just because we had such a big move. We have this big wick, but I don't really want to talk about any of that. I just want to kind of point out uh, some areas of support. And keep in mind, if you're a day trader, then you really don't have any use for the weekly chart. But I know there's lots of people that are playing this uh, for longer term trades. So the first thing I want to point out is this line here. Change that to green for uh, support. But if we look through the history of the chart, uh, we can see this price area has had um, more than one occasion where the, the price has kind of fluctuated around it. Right here, you can see that the price peaked its head up above there, but couldn't quite get through it. So this was a resistance level here. Came back right here, bumped its head at 0.0185. Again, acted as resistance. Right here, the previous week, bumped its head at 0.0186, but close enough, 0.0185, we'll call it. And then we finally broke above it today. So this is an example of where a resistance at these three spots has now turned into a support since we've closed above it. Now, if we do pull back even more, and remember, this chart is for the longer term players. 0.0185 is the key level that we'd ideally like to see hold strong. Uh, if that can hold strong, what we're going to get shaping up here on the weekly chart is some consolidation here. And then we'll have hopefully a mirror image of what happened here. We had this move up here. Then we had a month worth of consolidation. Remember, this is a weekly chart. So each one of these candles represents one week worth of time. Four of them here, basically one month. So if we do get the sideways action, hopefully we put in another one of those types of patterns. And then ideally, if the company or some sort of um, you know bullish event happens, get another breakout through that and then just keep on chugging upwards. So I guess in a nutshell, what I'm saying is pullback days, sideways days, you know, aren't uh, bad as long as support levels hold. This being the most recent example, I know some people are getting kind of anxious and fed up with the you know four red weeks in a row. But then when things did pick up, you know, people were happy that happened. So if we do get some sideways or downwards action, you know, I wouldn't worry or I wouldn't, you know, jump out a window as long as this 0.0185 level can hold, as it should, because this was a previous big time annoyance as a resistance, and now we're above it, so it should be an annoyance to the bears in terms of them trying to push back through it now that it is a support. So um Next week and the weeks of coming, you know, 0.0185, that'll be the level that we want to keep our eyes on and make sure uh, holds strong. If there are any other questions on the chart, uh, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from penny stocks up to big boards. So there's a good variety of something for everybody, and it's all free. So it's worth at least signing up and giving a try as we've been making some good money together. So one last time, this was G-O-I-G. Thanks for listening and enjoy your weekends.